Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. We are going to focus on finishing our grungy CD cover in Adobe Photoshop CC. All right, so if you need access to the logo for a design course, uh, which we're going to be using in this video, uh, you don't have to, but if you want access to it, it's available for free in the description below this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to continue on, I'm going to open up my logo that I'm going to uh, use basically and I'm just gonna set the res resolution actually to higher maybe like 400 and I've linked this by the way into project files control a and control C that and then bring it to the top layer and just okay that was quite bigger than what I wanted but that's no problem go cool. control T shift and alt and scale that down to right around here Hit apply and we want to make this white, and there's several different ways you can make an object completely white. So if you double click the right hand side of the layer, go to color overlay, make it white, hit OK and OK. Then you can just right click and rasterize that layer style, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to create a duplicate of this. So control shift D or right click and go to duplicate layer. And the bottom one, I'm going to move out just a little bit here to the left. Uh, for the color overlay, we're going to choose color right around here so 005 DC4 is the color code Hit OK and OK and I'm going to right click and rasterize that we're going to go to filter and pixelate mesotint I've been using that a lot for this you know just to kind of keep things consistent and then filter blur motion blur all right something right around there and I'm going to take uh, the layer blend mode and just see if I I think anything may work better. I think I kind of, let's see if I zoom up 100% so I can see this. Yeah, that looks bad. Like I said, it's experimenting, so I'm going to keep on going down. Linear light looks pretty good. That worked earlier. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to stick with linear light right there which is right there all right and i'm going to move this over a little bit and then i'm going to take the yeah the smudge tool and we'll make the size a little bit larger maybe around 110 and just drag out parts of this unevenly though all right that way you know it looks it's it doesn't look like a copy of itself per se so um let's just zoom out here all right and you know my video intro um i kind of have my logo animating in with like these uh kind of like the pen tool anchor points so I'm, I'm just going to illustrate that real quickly so i'm going to take the rectangle tool on t on the very top layer and just hold shift drag out and let me zoom up here to 100% I may want to be a little bit bigger than that so control T hold shift and then just drag out a little bit all right and then I'm going to take let's see here the line tool and just start somewhere around here and just drag up all right and then I'm going to take, yeah, the ellipse tool right on that top portion. Control H, all right, and then Control D. I mean, Control Shift D to duplicate or right click and duplicate layer and then just drag it down over here using my arrow keys. All right, so we have all those three. And now what I want to do is take the actual line, which is shape one, duplicate that. Take down the opacity a lot, like around, yeah, 12% works good. Duplicate that again. Maybe right around there. All right, let me zoom out, see how this kind of looks so far. So far, so good. 
All right, so I kind of want to encase it a little bit just to add some other, you know, kind of defined lines amongst all this, I guess you could call it chaos. So I'm going to zoom up here, take the line tool, we'll make it white for the foreground, and hold shift in this drag out, and then you can duplicate that, control shift D, control T and hold shift, and make it perfectly up and down. So I have to move tool to apply, and then just move them to the side where they create kind of a, an angle there. Take both of them, hit control E, and we can also rasterize those real quick. And then hit control I to invert those to a white color. All right, so zoom out. And now I want to duplicate that. I'm just going to call these brackets or corners, whatever. Duplicate it and go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Move it over, this one. Take both of those, Control E, Duplicate, hit OK, Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. I know I'm moving fast, but you know, you can always pause, no big deal. All right, and then take both of those and merge those. So now they're all four on its own layer. And you can experiment with the layer blend mode as well to see if there's something that kind of sticks out. Color dodge looks interesting. And I may want to take the opacity down just a little bit. Right around there. All right, so let's zoom out and see what this thing looks like. Looks pretty cool so far. I may want to take everything with exception to the background layers here. So holding shift, I have all these layers selected. Take the move tool, just move this more into place. All right. All right, this looks pretty cool so far. Um, I think right there would be a good place just to call it quits uh, in terms of the actual design. So, you, you know, I think by, by now you get the idea when it comes to this grunge design. I mean, you could add so much more to this, but I would be getting redundant if I continued. So now what I want to do is take this and just kind of impose it into a, a basically a CD case, or I think they're called jewel cases. All right, so I found a image of a jewel case on uh, Flickr, which is free to use, and it's right here. I've linked it in the description. So if you just right click, hit copy image, the biggest image they provide is 800 by 733, but that's okay just for the purposes of presenting it. So if we go to file new, uh, hit okay. After having that copied, paste that in. And let's take everything by hitting control A and then go to edit, copy merged. And so that basically copies all the layers, not just what's currently selected. And then what we wanna do is take the pen tool with shape selected and We'll just zoom in here. And we want to basically create a selection that's going to be the size, roughly, of our actual. Actually, I'm going to take this right down here. All right. And then just left click once, come up around here, left click. And you don't have to be exactly precise initially because uh, we can adjust those points in their positions. So now take the uh, select on the direct selection tool. Take your mouse arrow, or your up and down keys rather, or your directional keys, and you can kind of begin to work with this, try to get it lined up correctly. I think right there is probably fine. All right, so that's fine just for eyeballing it right now. And we do currently have that copied, so Control Shift N, make sure this is a clipping mask. Hit OK. And then paste it in, Control V, hit Control, I'm gonna zoom out real quick. Hit Control T, and hold Shift and Alt and scale this down and begin working with this to try to get it the right size roughly. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. So we'll rotate this around, scale this in by holding Shift and Alt. And like I said, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but that's okay. 
All right, and then select move tool, hit apply once you have it roughly the position of what you want. And then this background here, this layer one, I'm going to go to image adjustments and desaturate. So kind of makes everything look better. I was going crazy with all these reflective colors and stuff. Um, and yeah, if you want to make more adjustments, it's fine. All you have to do is select that shape one layer and take your direct selection tool. And for instance, I kind of want to make this a little bit wider. Yeah, but we don't want it to clip though. Actually, I do kind of want it to go all the way out here. And I'll make adjustments to that image. All right, so because I scaled that down a little bit, this issue happens. So you could fix that one of two ways. You could hit Control T and just scale this up the inside, or because this is all pretty much the same stuff right here, we could take the clone stamp tool with a feathered brush, hold Alt, select out here. Oops. This is kind of, uh, I would not do this normally, but just to try to end this tutorial. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and you can't even tell. All right, so if I just zoom out, and there is a view of the CD. All right, so pretty quick and easy tutorial on basically, oops, basically uh, just creating a CD presentation and a design as well. So uh, yeah, it, basically check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Subscribe here on YouTube and let me know what you think. Uh, basically I'm doing a tutorial every day of the year here in 2014. I think this is video number 52. Anyhow, I've stuck with it, so... Oh, wait, one other thing. I wanted to create kind of like a gloss. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, make this a clipping mask. Make it white. And maybe just come up around here with the pen tool. Control H. And then take the opacity down a ton. That way it kind of makes it look like it's on a glossy, or behind a glossy, glossy appearance. All right. So that's it. All right. I'm Gary Simon, and I will see you tomorrow with a new tutorial. All right. Goodbye.